Hey everyone, it's Mary Ann with Akashic Inspirations, and today is Thursday, August 21st, 2014. So, um, I've been doing all these uh, daily readings, you know, just posting cards on Facebook and having lots of fun with it. But uh, the cards that I used today, I just felt that I needed to go into the symbolism of the cards and and kind of uh, really explain a little bit more about the energy. So I felt guided to post for all my fans on YouTube. And you're going to get the real deal first, actually. So um, if you are a YouTuber, I'm going to try and start doing these as much as I can, as much as work and school and kids and everything will allow. But um, I'm using today, uh, this is called the uh, Quest Tarot, the Quest Tarot, and um, it's by Joseph Ernest Martin, and these cards are somewhat similar to, let's say, relatable to the Talk Tarot, where there's really lots of symbolism, and every little thing, I mean, you see different things in the cards every time you use them, so um, I really wanted to put out there, I know I was reading actually in um, David Palmer's site, the Leo Astrology, this guy that was posting, about these Mars energies, how they're kind of like gearing us up into, uh, you know, kind of flagra flagratory, like, you know, and sending us and, and, and not igniting, uh, like these impatient energies of like, oh, why doesn't this just happen? Or why are these people so slow? Or, you know, you're driving. So it's about, um, finding the balance with these energies that Mars is bringing about for us and to kind of, you know, tone it down, balance it with water, blue energy. So you have the control of the emotions, but the, the ability to use that impetus to action in a right manner. All right. So for uh, the choices today were um, a Labradorite Merkaba, which I actually use this as my own personal symbol. Um, the Tangerine Aura, which these are just, I mean, I don't know if you can see it. Look how it shines. It's really, really a beautiful pendant. I love it. And a Rhodochrosite um, Healing Wand. So um, very nice energies. The Labradorite um, really connects you with psychic abilities, insights. Uh, the tangerine aura works with your sacral chakra and your solar plexus chakra to, um, you know, have that loving energy of self, you know, bringing it out. And, of course, the rhodochrosite is uh, a stone representing love and, um, you know, softer, gentler healing energies. So, and if you want more details on the stones, I, I wrote some things in my Facebook reveal, which will be this afternoon. So, for the first card we pull the Mother of Stones. Now, this is the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, and in this case, they say the, the, the key word is perception. Um, what I love is she's got abundance raining down on her, obviously from the get-go. Now, I don't know if you can see it, um, but she has in a rainbow, like in an arc above her head, um, there are six clear diamond energies and she's sitting in a stone circle of 12 stones that form when you link them in the ley lines as a pentagram so and she's sitting right smack in the middle which represents the ethers and spirits and so she is not only she fully grounded within the earth since she is a you know the, the representation of abundance to me she's linked up like with the empress but she's like a higher even a higher plane than the empress to me and she's got the beautiful crystal towers to the left and right of her they look like rainbow aura crystals to me all right and um down here let me see she has white roses and um a goat so that to me represents to me capricorn so being tenacious being persevering uh, reaching for the higher ideals and the higher the higher summits of your abilities. So um, this this really comes into play today about tapping into our abundant source, tapping into this here, tapping into um, that um, 
that sense of enjoying the best in your life and having luxury and being just kind of down to earth, um, humble, but saying, reaping, you know, sitting in the rewards. You've done so much work. And now is the moment to go, ah, pat yourself on the back and say, wow, you know, look at how much I've accomplished. Look how much I've done. And, um, and it's funny because since we are working the Star of David energies that we were working with on the 16th, um, it's wonderful to see it, how it's now come from the etheric plane, from the stars, and is now fully grounded and assimilated into the earth energies. And that's what we're working with. We've drawn that spiritual energy, and now we're grounding it firmly into the earth. And that's, that's what we're doing. So that is how we actually are raising our vibrations and therefore that of the earth. So for the second card, those who would choose the tangerine aura, we get the mother of cups. And the key word is motherhood. Love that she's got the seeing eye right above her head. So she has that direct connection to source, to the higher planes, that spirituality. She's actually scrying. She's got a pool of water here. So to me, she's scrying in the pool. She's bringing that connection. It's being reflected into the emotions, into the waters, and then um, uh, lighting up on either side of her. And I love that she's got the globe behind her. So we're taking that higher divine connection of Mother Gaia, having it reflected back to us for us to see who we truly are. And here you have some beautiful yellow flowers. And it's funny because this weekend I brought home yellow roses. So it's about friendship. It's about joy. It's about that connection to your solar plexus energy, which is um, in your connection to the divine and, and receiving enlightenment. Um, it works with your action um, and being elevated, illuminated, action based on knowledge, based on um, a groundedness in your emotions, a control and mastery of those emotions so that you are able to be the nurturer, be the healer, be the mother, um, and to feel those loving energies. Um, I'm trying to see what, what exactly this is on either side. I think it probably represents like Pisces energy it looks like maybe two dolphins or two fish so um which is what is gearing the world or had been gearing the world up until now and i think down here is i have to see the book but i think it looks like a some type of a, a bluebird or a raven i can't tell if it's blue or black with my glasses but um let me see if i can see where sometimes they explain a little bit about the symbolism of the cards so it's really connecting with your intuition and being, um, you know, grounded in the emotions, in the water element. It's very calm. She's come to that place of centeredness. Um, she could be, she could also represent someone in your life, your friend, your mother, the divine feminine ideal, the divine feminine working at her highest vibrations through uh, love through sunshine, which is the masculine. So, um, I, it's, it's a beautiful harmony. It's a beautiful balance. And so that leads us then to our third card, which, um, is represented by, if you chose the, uh, rhodochrosite and today's card is the lover's card. So relationships, uh, it's, um, what I what I love is you've got two lovers here in an embrace, but there is a flame between them. So that twin flame, Christ flame consciousness, the, of course, the balance of the yin and yang. It's a balance of seemingly opposites that come together in synchronistic ways to create a greater whole. So the sum of the parts is not equal to the whole. The whole is much greater. It's one in one is infinity, uh, the infinite, the infinite possibilities. And I love that there has like a, a, a aura of rainbow color here. And I was seeing yesterday, actually on Facebook, 
several people talking about the rainbow auras that they're seeing around the sun, around the moon. I've seen it around the moon many times. And just, you know, like in the, in the light of day, someone seeing these rainbow auras. So that to me is, you know, kind of like uh, signs from our angelic beings and our star beings that they're working with us, that they're sending us beautiful, loving energies of uh, complete um, harmony and uh, allowing us to find that deeper, intimate connection. Um, it's also about sensual and sexual energy. Um, it's it's the fire, the passion, the the what motivates you, um, what motivates you to overcome the obstacles in your relationships and see them from a higher perspective and see that person as the truly shining soul being that they are. Because when you change your perception, you change your reality, you change what happens on the outside because you're changing what you're viewing on the inside. What you choose to focus on and to see is what will come into your being because of the law of attraction. It's what you, what you focus on is what you get. And um, it's just happiness. It's that, that coming together harmoniously, that joy that it brings together when you're in sync with someone, you know, whether it be a business partner or a friend or just being in sync with your own soul, being in alignment with who you are. That is the most beautiful twin flame relationship you will ever have. And that is the most important one, because once you have that, it will be reflected to you on the outside by drawing in the people that will be there for your highest and most beautiful good. So I'm um, going to keep it short. And I thank you so much. I'm having a great time with my channel. I've found new passion, new inspiration. Next month, we're going to probably be interviewing J.R. Rivera, who is the author and the creator of of a new oracle deck with Jasmine Beckett as the um, as the artist, the illustrator, like amazing. And those are coming out in December. So we're going to be talking to him. And then Debbie and I are talking about doing a Google Hangout probably, and, uh, probably in October um, regarding contacting those loved ones that have passed over and giving you a connection, giving you a message from your loved ones. So if you're interested in that, just give us a, you know, just send us a little message, send us a comment, let us know um, if you would be interested in that type of thing. And, you know, it's kind of something new for us, but I know that through the Akashics, I have done this many times for others. So I think it's time to kind of just bring it out and offer it to everyone. So I look forward, you could go to my website if you're interested and you do want to sign up. It's already posted on my special announcements page. So just go ahead and do your donation. You know, we do all kinds of things, readings, candle ceremonies, intentions, light language. You know, we'll, we'll come up with something really good as as we we try to be better every time we do a Google Hangout. So I send you blessings today. Enjoy the energies. Find your connections. Find that love. Be the nurturer. Be grounded. Abundance is here for you. Accept it. Uh, bring in the love for yourself and for others. And have a great day. Namaste.